This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. Investigators still trying to figure out the reason behind two water main breaks that flooded downtown earlier this week. Since 2013, the city has been working to replace about 180 miles of cast iron pipes with much more reliable PVC piping. In that time, water main breaks have dropped from a peak of 131 in 2010 to 33 in 2020. City spokesman says the last 25 miles of cast iron will be replaced by 2025. Well, hundreds of janitors who work at San Diego International Airport will not go on strike during the busy holiday week. Union representing thousands of California janitors reaching a tentative agreement that would avoid a strike which was authorized last week. Deal includes almost $4 in wage increases over the next two years. 200 of the janitors in the union work at the airport. The vote on the agreement is going to take place today. Well, this morning, San Diego Fire Rescue Toys for Tots, that drive getting underway. This is in partnership with the U.S. Marine Corps. Toys for Tots program has been around for 74 years, collected and distributed toys, books, and other gifts to those who may need a little extra holiday cheer. And last year, more than 71,000 toys were given out, supporting more than 47,000 kids right here in San Diego. Such great work that yeah. they do. You know what's not going to bring joy though are the Santa Ana yeah, that's tomorrow. True. Yeah. yeah, today it's going to be pleasant. So again, I'm going to emphasize if you have guests in town for the holidays, uh, give them a nice drive to the coast or perhaps the mountains is going to be really nice tomorrow. A completely different story. That's when we'll trend upwards as far as those high temperatures go. A lot of us through those coastal communities will be in the 80s as well as the inland valleys. In addition, we have a red flag warning that begins tomorrow morning lasting until Friday night. We are going to see the return of east winds ramping close to 50 miles per hour, 60 in some spots in relative humidity dropping down to about 10 to 15 percent. Mix that in with those 80 degree temperatures, folks, and you have a rest recipe for fire danger. Inland areas are going to top out today in the mid 70s, mid to upper 70s looking ahead to tomorrow. Majority of us are going to be in the 80s by Friday and we'll stay in that pattern for the first half of the weekend and we see slight cooling looking ahead to the start of next week. Jim. Vanessa, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 news app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.